All right, so men want to boost their testosterone levels these days, essentially because they're on a decline. There's a lot of research to show that male T levels are hitting a downward spiral. And one of the things that we can look at is not what to boost testosterone with, but what to remove this decline with. Like what can you remove from your life that will free your testosterone levels up to thrive? And in this video, we're gonna go through a bunch of those different things that will help you create optimal testosterone levels by simply removing the barrier to those high testosterone levels. And we're gonna start with chemicals. With chemicals, there's a lot of different chemicals in our environment and everything from clothing to self-care products, deodorants, shampoos, soaps, packaging. Like with our supplement company, we use glass bottles and BPA-free bags because BPA is one of those chemicals that reduces testosterone phthalates that you find in self-care products. I'll put a list down below of the chemicals that reduce testosterone just so you can look for those on different labels of things. But what we're essentially going to do is get organic fruit, organic produce, vegetables, everything. It is more expensive, but because the market is growing, those prices are going to drop. Grass-fed beef, ideally. I know these things are more expensive, but it's just a way to remove those chemicals, especially in produce, in grains, in fruits and vegetables. And then get natural deodorant, shampoo, soap. Now, those things you can find even on Amazon. You can find it at your local grocery store. There's tons of natural options options out there that don't have these chemicals that increase estrogen and block male hormones. They're androgen disruptors. So the first thing you want to remove is chemicals. The second thing you want to remove is body fat. So carrying too much body fat creates aromatization. So aromatase is the conversion of testosterone to estrogen. So if you're carrying too much body fat, you are going to convert some of your testosterone to estrogen, the female hormone. It's just a compounding effect. Then you gain more body fat and then you convert more testosterone to estrogen. So I'll put a plan down below for a diet that will help you figure out how to lose weight because a lot of it is diet. You can't exercise a horrible diet so get your diet dialed in and then focus on strength training also put free member site that we have that will give you workouts for life and we focus on strength training because that's the best way to lose fat so you want to lose body fat the third thing is stress fear worry we used to have acute stress where you'd be fearful of what's around the corner a tiger a lion whatever now we have chronic stress we're worried about future outcomes that may or may not happen so while you can take things like ashwagandha or or different adaptogens that will help mitigate that stress response, what you really wanna do is mental work. So a few books that will help you figure out how to reduce stress and think more clearly, because that is going to be the biggest impact on your stress levels along with quality sleep. So one book is The Way to Love by Anthony DeMello. Another book is Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, Seneca's Epistles, and The uh, On Living Well by Epictetus. And the a final one on just thinking clearly and understanding how to to go through life's problems is on is seeking wisdom from Darwin to Munger. Those are great books. Again, I'll put those down below, but we need some stress. We need some cortisol in the morning and so forth. When we're training, we need cortisol, but chronic stress is what destroys testosterone. So much of that is just understanding how to not worry about the future, not fear potential negative outcomes and just live in the moment and deal with what is. So those books will help that a lot. Finally, the thing you want to avoid are natural foods that may lower testosterone and may increase estrogen, xenoestrogens. Some of these include soy, which is well known. Other not so well known ones are mint, green tea, alfalfa, flax is pretty well known at uh, being an androgen disruptor. So you want to avoid these foods. You also want to avoid too much polyunsaturated fats, which are going to be found in vegetable oils. So use butter, grass fed butter ideally, coconut oil, I think can be good. Olive oil can be pretty good, but you want to get away from canola oil and other vegetable oils. So if you remove those things from your daily life, I know it's a lot to take in and it's a lot to kind of go at removing. The stress will take the most work. We can remove chemicals pretty quickly just by these natural options that are available now, but the stress will take the most work. But that's good work to do because that will have the greatest impact not only on your hormones, but on your mental state, on your performance and on your life. So by removing these things from your daily life, you then free up your ability to have optimal testosterone levels. A lot of them take work. 
reducing stress and reducing body fat take a lot of work, but it's worth it. Because when we have high testosterone levels, we're just more energetic, we're more driven, our sexual performance and health is better. We're just better versions of ourselves. So hopefully those helped. I'll put more information, likely an article version that will have all of the chemicals and fat loss program. It's free, you could just download it. And all these other things that you can just download. But if you start tackling these things, you free yourself up to have more testosterone, and then you can work on things that boost testosterone, which we have in other videos. But remove these things from your life and you free up your testosterone to have at least the potential to be optimal. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care.